you can win your battle against throat cancer with a positive attitude. But first, it's critical not to ignore the signs of cancer in your throat. This form of cancer is highly treatable, especially if you catch the condition early. Small tumors in the throat can be removed with relatively little damage. The Mayo Clinic defines cancer of the throat as cancer of the throat, voice box, or tonsils. This cancer, which is not as common as other cancers, usually begins in the flat cells on the inside of the throat, the pharynx. Throat-related cancer can also damage the epiglottis, which is the cover of the windpipe. If cancer spreads before being detected, the prognosis is less positive. To eradicate the cancerous cells, surgeons might have to remove parts of your vocal cords, jaw, voice box, tonsils, and oropharynx. Therefore, it's essential to check with your doctor if you develop symptoms that persist for a long time. Risk factors for throat cancer Men are more susceptible to throat cancer than women. Key lifestyle habits can put you at higher risk. These risky behaviors include smoking, using smokeless tobacco, aka snuff or dip, drinking too much alcohol, poor oral hygiene, brushing your teeth keeps your heart and throat healthy, not getting the proper nutrition, asbestos exposure, HPV infections, which are sexually transmitted viruses. Mayo Clinic Recommendations for Preventing Throat Cancer The Mayo Clinic offers these five tips for reducing your risks of developing any cancer and improving your general health. Give up tobacco. Tobacco, in all its forms, increases your risk of developing cancer and other health disorders that make you more vulnerable. Quitting tobacco is an essential step in cancer prevention, so you should discuss medical options with your doctor to help you stop. Healthy eating. Healthy food strengthens your body, clears your mind, and improves your spiritual health. You should eat plenty of fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Ideally, minimal or no processing is best for dietary health. That means eating raw foods, avoiding added sugars, and consuming whole grains. Lower your consumption of red meat, fats, and processed food. Manage your weight. Both obese and underweight people are more susceptible to all types of cancer. Lower your risk by maintaining a healthy weight with diet and exercise. Take up a hobby or sport that keeps you physically active, even if it's just going for a walk in different parts of your hometown. Older people can make social connections and get healthy exercise in a safe environment by power walking of a local mall in the morning. Protect yourself from sexually transmitted infections. Infections like HPV can increase your risk of throat cancer. There are perfectly natural ways to protect yourself from sexual viruses. These include using condoms, avoiding infected body fluids, and never sharing needles. Avoid risky sexual practices, which include unprotected sex and unsafe contact with skin, genitals, and rectum. Sexually transmitted infections are common among those who have unprotected sex with multiple partners, and these viral and bacterial infections can weaken your body, even when there are no visible symptoms. Avoid any practices that tear the skin or cause bleeding. It's essential to know your partners, avoid drugs and alcohol that impair your judgment. Early Warning Signs of Cancer of the Throat the top 10 early warning symptoms of cancer of the throat, according to Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, include 1. Sore throat. The early stages of disease almost always generate a sore throat. Unlike cold and flu-based soreness, the pain doesn't go away in a few days. 2. Weight loss. Any form of cancer usually results in loss of weight. Throat pain can make it even more challenging to eat and swallow normally, so that weight loss can be fast and severe. 3. Vocal changes. Your voice often changes when you develop cancer in the throat. That's where the voice box resides. Both laryngeal and hypopharyngeal cancers can cause hoarseness and changes in the sound of your voice. According to the Rajal Cancer Center, laryngeal cancer often targets the vocal cords, but the good news is that these tumors are relatively easy to find and remove. Cancer that doesn't start on the vocal cords is usually more developed by the time hoarseness occurs. 4. Problem swallowing. It's common to have difficulty swallowing food normally. Food often reels as if it sticks in the throat. You might feel a burning sensation when you try to swallow. 5. Finding a lump in the neck. Enlarged lymph nodes are a significant symptom of many types of cancer. The nodes in the neck are located right below the back of the lower jaw on each side. There are many possible causes of enlarged lymph nodes, which include the common cold. Nodes that keep growing and don't swell and shrink are critical signs to see your doctor. 6. Coughing. Persistent coughing that doesn't improve is a telling symptom, especially if you begin to cough up blood. Smokers should be able to detect the difference in smokers' cough and cancer-related coughing. 7. Trouble opening your mouth normally. You might develop problems opening your mouth and chewing your food. 8. Lump in the jaw, neck or mouth. It's not just the lymph nodes that are symptoms of oral cancer. 
If you find a bump anywhere in the mouth, jaw, throat, or neck, you should see a doctor immediately. 9. Nosebleeds. Nosebleeds are common symptoms of oral cancers, especially if you're not usually susceptible to them. 10. Headaches. Headaches are frequent, and they can range from behind the eyes to full-on migraine-type events. The pain might extend into the neck and shoulders. If you develop any of these symptoms that persist for more than a few days, you should see your doctor immediately. Throat cancer can be treated with great success in the early stages, but don't give up hope if the disease is in the advanced stages.